Welcome to Chorus Stories. Are you ready to meditate with Cory? Hi friends, make sure that you subscribe and you like this video and also press the bell because the bell will let you know when a new video comes out. If you love Heidi, Cherry and Vea, make sure that you go to the link below and you join the patron group. Then you'll be part of the cat club and you'll get three exclusive stories every month for just $7 a month. I hope you enjoy the meditation. I love you. Bye. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're laying down really comfortable in your bed so that you can let your body fully relax. Let go of your busy day and eventually, hopefully, fall fast asleep. Tucker and Leo were going on a double date. Well, that's what Tucker called it. Leo did not. Lady and Princess were two friends of theirs. Their owner's daughter had two dogs, Princess and Lady. Tucker decided he was going to do pizza night. Pizza night for all the puppies. The girls and the boys, basically. Oh, I'm so excited, Leo. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because, number one, I can make really good pizza. Number two, I love Lady and Princess. They're so nice and so cute. And they're so nice to be around and they're so friendly. And it's just nice to have girl dogs around because, you know, they smell nice and they look nice. And when you lick them, like, by accident, if you get too close to their little faces and you have a little lick, just to have a taste, you know, to see what they've been eating for the dinner, then it's like, oh, they taste so nice. They're, like, sugary and spicy and all things nicey, Leo said. Tucker, I'm okay about the dogs coming over. I'm okay about you making pizza as long as it's gluten-free. Remember, I can't do gluten. It makes my hives horrific. But I'm not okay with you thinking it's a double date. Look, Leo, I can't help it if Princess has got a little bit of a thing for me. So I was thinking if I have a nice, nice date with Princess and I sit next to Princess and I give Princess my bestest pieces of pizza, then you can, like, have a nice time with Lady. What's wrong with that, Leo? What's wrong with that? Leo said, Tucker, the Practically Family, and I haven't got time to have a girlfriend, even if I wanted one. I've got too much to be concerned about. There's so many things out there that can give you hives, that can make you have an allergic reaction. You know, I ended up in the vets last week because I don't know what, something's blooming out there that got me. And then I started itching. And mom and dad had to take me for those tablets that make me stop itching. Look at my chest, it's all flared up and scabby. What's lady going to think of a scabby chest like that? Tucker said, oh, you can barely notice, Leo. The scabs are like the perfect colour for your fur. Well, no, not really, because, I mean, golden fur does tend to emphasise the little bits of red scabs. Whereas if I have scabs with my black fur, you don't really see it very much. You have to kind of dig for them. I'm so lucky, really, because if I was spotty, you wouldn't even notice because of my black fur and it's so thick. My fur is so thick, whereas your fur is so short and thin that you can see all the little pimples and things on your skin. Sorry about that, Leo. But sorry, not sorry, because I'm so handsome that, uh, you know, Princess is going to come in today and she's going to say, Wow, you make pizza? Wow, you look so handsome. Wow, you've got such nice, thick, shiny fur. What happened to Leo? 
and Elsa. Well, you know, unfortunately, Leo's a very sensitive dog. And sensitivity can be good and bad, right, Leo? Because sometimes when you're sensitive, then like literally sensitive, I mean like, lo like you know, physically sensitive, then it's good because if you have a friend that's really sensitive, like Leo, then you'll know straight away if something's wrong. Because if the gas is left on or something like that, Leo can smell it, his hives come up, and he's like, uh oh, somebody left the somebody left the gas on. And I'm like, thank goodness for Leo, Beefy, because he's so sensitive. But then, you know, there's negatives to being so sensitive because you're so vulnerable to the environment and all of its things. You know, like the bees and the wind and, and the pollen and, and the fleas, you know, the dust fleas or dust mites and, oh, you know, the insects and, oh, maybe like the chemicals on, on your dog bed or maybe like the chemicals on the carpets or maybe like the chemicals in the shampoo when mummy washes you. Gosh, there's so many things that you can be allergic to. Leo said, All right, all right, Tucker. I get it. There's no need to keep talking about it. What time are Lady and Princess coming anyway? Any minute, said Tucker. Any minute now. They're going to be here any minute. Just then, the doorbell rang. Lady, Princess and Jenna, their mummy, had come for a visit. Lady and Princess belted through the front door, ran around with the leads on the ground, following them all over the place, super excited. Tucker got so excited he almost peed on the ground, but he didn't. But he got that excited. Leo just kind of stood there and wagged his tail a little bit and then moved his nose away and moved his bum away from everyone smelling at him and licking his face and all of that stuff that dogs do. He always had that look as if he was quite annoyed and a little bit perturbed by things like that. Oh, hello, lady, said Leo. Lady said, oh, hi, Leo. How are you doing? Leo said, oh, I'm good. Looking forward to gluten-free pizza. Oh, that's the best, said lady. Princess said, Tucker, I've missed you. I'm so excited to see you. And she wagged her tail and shook her body and they rubbed noses on each other and sniffed each other everywhere and then shook the tails even more and then rubbed noses and faces together all over again and it was as if they were long lost friends that had not seen each other for years even though it was only last week. And then Leo said, Tucker's been very excited for you all to come over. And Princess said, Oh, Tucker, I've missed you. And then it started all over again where they shook and licked each other and smelt each other and shook their tails some more and licked each other's faces some more. And it was quite cute, really, to watch. Tucker said, Oh, Princess, you won't believe what I've made. I've made pizza. I've been making pizza all morning. Well, you know, for the last hour or so anyway. And I made gluten-free pizza. You'll be so proud of me. I made gluten-free pizza because Leo's having a little bit of a flare-up. And the last thing he needs is gluten because gluten's going to make him itch and it's going to bloat him. And then he'll be all bloated and he'll be itchy and bloated. And then he'll be laid on his dog bed just scratching away and, and maybe possibly tooting away because he's all bloated because I, I gave him gluten by mistake. So Leo, for goodness sake, please only eat that pizza right there because the other pizzas have got gluten in them and we don't want that, do we? Leo said, oh, thanks Tucker, thanks, right. Leo spotted the gluten-free pizza. It had different coloured tomatoes on it than the other ones. The tomatoes on Leo's pizza were yellow tomatoes and the tomatoes on the other pizzas were red tomatoes like typical tomatoes that you see. Leo said, I've never had yellow tomatoes. 
took a said, Leo, you'll be fine. They just taste like normal tomatoes. They're made just like normal tomatoes, except they look a little bit different. They're just yellow tomatoes, but the flavor's the same. They grow them the same. They don't do anything like with chemicals or colorings or anything like that, Leo. It's just a regular tomato, except that it's yellow. Leo said, oh, okay, oh, okay then. Tucker had set up a picnic blanket on the back garden. All the dogs went out there and then Tucker kept going back into the kitchen to grab the pizza and then he went back in the kitchen to grab the lemonade and then he went back in the kitchen to grab the napkins and then he forgot that he needed the paper plates so he went back in the kitchen again and then he finally went back in the kitchen because he forgot the straws for the lemonade and it was important that they had straws for the lemonade just because he thought that the straws for the lemonade would make it even more fancy. Princess said, Oh, Tucker, you did such a good job. This is so nice. I haven't had a picnic in forever. It's quite romantic. Tucker looked at Leo and winked one of his eyes and said, Well then, that's lovely. I'm so glad you appreciate it, princess. How about you, lady? Do you like uh, uh, Leo? No, no, not Leo. I mean, <laughs> picnics. Leo flushed in the cheeks and went pink because he knew what Tucker was doing. Lady said, Oh, yes, I love picnics. Leo blushed again because he wasn't sure if she was talking about picnics or Leo. And then Lady looked at Leo with big love hearts in her eyes and Leo freaked out a little bit. He swallowed really loud. Um, this gluten-free pizza is really nice, Tucker. Tucker said, Oh, good! I'm so glad you like it. You know, it's practically the same as normal pizza, but you have to use a different flour, Leo. It's a different flour. It's gluten-free flour. And then, you see, the problem is, with most of the time, when you're making bread with gluten-free flour, then sometimes it doesn't rise, and sometimes you're just left with, like, a brick. But, luckily for me, I don't... Well, I didn't do the dough. I kneaded the dough. That's right. I poured at the dough. I poured it and poured it and poured it and kneaded it and kneaded it and kneaded it. And sometimes I kept getting the dough stuck in my toenails. But then I kept pulling it out and then kneading it and kneading it. And Leo was getting a little bit freaked out about the fact that his dough was stuck in Tucker's toenails because Tucker's toenails have been all over the back garden. Leo then thought about all the things that are on the back garden that he's normally generally allergic to. You know, the grass, the pollen, the fleas, whatever it is that's out there that makes Leo itch. So then he swallowed hard again, swallowing down a piece of his pizza, thinking about all the crevices and nooks and crannies that are in Tucker's toenails. <coughs> Oh, okay, said Leo. Thanks, that's that's really nice of you to put so much toenail work into my gluten-free pizza. Thank you. Not convinced at all. But Tucker was so excited to see Princess, he didn't even notice Leo's slight fears and sarcasm in his voice. Oh, that's all right. You're welcome. You're so welcome. So, Princess, tell me. Tell me what your favourite part of my pizza is that I made you. I know you like anchovies. I know you like a pepperoni. And I know for sure that you like tomatoes. Hence, I put tomatoes on it. So, do you like it? Your tomato, pepperoni and anchovy pizza just for you? Princess said, Oh, Tucker, it's the best pizza ever. I've never had pizza this good. It's so good. I think the pizza could have tasted like cardboard and she would have still told Tucker that it was the best pizza she ever had because Princess really liked Tucker and she was flirting a little bit and she was trying to give Tucker compliments. Oh, I knew it would be good. I knew it would be good because I'm such a good pizza maker. What is it when you're a professional pizza maker? Is it a, a pizzeria? I'm a pizzeria. I'm a pizzeria. 
that's what I am. <laughs> I heard you know, and you're so lucky to have me as a friend, slash possible boyfriend. Princess got very red in the cheeks, and then swelled at the idea of Tucker being her boyfriend. <gasps> are you being serious or are you kidding? Because I just can never tell with you. You're such a jokester. Tucker said, well, you never know. You'll just maybe have to go on another pizza date with me. Oh, next time I'll make donuts. I've been thinking about making donuts. I really like donuts. There's something about donuts. I don't know what it is that remind me of little puppies. You know, that's so cute that you want to eat. Well, you know, you're not supposed to eat puppies. I know I'm not supposed to eat puppies, but I do like a little bit of a smell of a puppy. Oh, gosh, yes. Anyway, I don't know why, but donuts make me think of puppies. And puppies make me think of donuts. And then I just want to eat them all. So I was thinking, next week, you could come for donuts. Princess said, Oh, that would be great, Tucker. Still thinking about whether Tucker really meant it. Did he want to be her boyfriend? She wasn't sure. She looked at Lady. Lady just shrugged her front shoulders. She wasn't sure. Lady swooned at Leo, and Leo just breathed and swallowed heavily and avoided eye contact at all times. Leo did not want a girlfriend. Leo couldn't be bothered with a girlfriend. Leo would probably be allergic to a girlfriend. They had a very nice date. Whether it was a date or just a hangout or a double date, we don't know. But they had fun. They hung out for a couple of hours together and then Jenna took Lady and Princess home. And Leo and Tucker flopped on their big, soft, comfortable dog beds and relaxed. Leo couldn't figure out why he was so bloated. I don't get it at all, Leo. I mean, I'm serious. I used gluten-free flour. I don't get why you're having such a puffy, swelled-up belly, irritable bowel reaction to my pizza. Leo said, mm, it could be something to do with the fact that there was so much toenail action in there. I don't know what you mean, said Tucker, and then Tucker started laughing. He knew exactly what Leo meant. The dogs, very shortly after, got super relaxed, super comfortable. And eventually fell fast asleep. The end.